This video explains how to draw a ggplot2 plot with different background colors by region using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame is appearing and we can click on this data object to open a new window, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns called X and Y, and both of these columns contain numeric values. If you want to draw our data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. And after running this line of code, we can draw a scatter plot of our data using the ggplot2 and geonpoint functions, as you can see in lines eight and nine of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new scatter plot has been created which is showing our 10 data points. However, at this point, you can also see that no background colors have been added to our plot. So in order to do that, we first need to specify a data frame, which is defining the regions of the different colors that we want to show. So in this case, I want to create a data frame with four different color regions, and we can do that, as you can see, in lines 11 to 13 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right that a new data set is appearing, which is called data breaks. And we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data frame, which contains a starting point, an end point, and a column, which is defining the colors. So in the next step, we can use this data set to draw another ggplot2 plot as you can see in lines 16 to 24 of the code. And please note that this time within the ggplot function, we are not specifying any additional arguments as we did in line eight of the code. However, we are simply adding the geomrect function to our empty ggplot2 plot. And within the geomrect function, we are specifying that we want to use the data breaks data set that we have specified before. And then we are also specifying the start and ending points of our color regions. And in this case, I'm also specifying the alpha argument to be equal to 0.5, because I want to show the color regions with a certain level of opacity. And then I'm adding to this the geom point function to draw our data points. And within the geom point function, I'm specifying the name of our data frame. And I'm also specifying the aesthetics. So in this case, the columns X and Y. So if you run lines 16 to 24 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And as you can see, we have added background colors by different regions to our plot. And on the right side of the plot, we have also added a legend, which is identifying the values corresponding to each of the color regions. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.